hey guys welcome once again to my youtube channel i just wanted to use this opportunity to say thank you very much guys for all the love and support that you continue to show and the beautiful comments that you send across to me to show appreciation for all the videos that i am making thank you so much guys and do not forget if you have not subscribed subscribe to my youtube channel and click the notification bell so that if i post new videos you will be able to get it thank you very much guys now our sole focus in this video is how to create uh, the token that we'll be using for all of our tasks so if you are new to the alx program and you do not know how to create tokens that would allow you to be able to uh, clone your repository uh, push all your work uh, to your github this is the right place for you I've realized that many people have had issues uh, when they try to clone their uh, repository uh, because they made the wrong token. Others have also had issues when they attempt to push their code. Uh, the error message that they get back shows them that either they've created the wrong token or that an authorization has been taken off a particular token. All right, so this uh, tutorial, I will be explaining to you how to create the right token for your ALS tax. So I'll start by signing into my GitHub account. Already I have my username and password saved. Okay, so now I've been able to log into my uh, uh, GitHub account. The next thing I need to do is come to uh, the top right corner here and click the drop down arrow here. I click on settings. Now, once I'm in settings, all I need to do is scroll down and click on developer settings. So after clicking developer settings, the next thing I need to do is to click on personal access tokens. Now at this point, two tokens will display for you. The first one says fine grain tokens and the second one says tokens classic. Just select tokens classic. Now when you get to tokens classic, you see several other tokens that you already have. But if you do not have any token at all, you would see nothing here. Now, the next thing you need to do, uh, if you've created a token before, you find it here. If you're just about to create your own token, no problem at all. Everybody, all you need to do is just click on generate new token. Now, when you hit generate new token, two options would also display for you again. You see generate new token better, uh, which is a fine grained uh, repo scoped or the second one that says generate new token classic. Now, this generate new token fine grained uh, is only useful or available uh, or would only be useful for those who are coding with a virtual machine. So, if you have a virtual machine and you have Git installed, you have the GitHub installed on your system, you can actually use the fine grained repo scope token and you will be able to push your code. But if you do not have the GitHub, uh, GitHub app installed on your computer or your laptop, as the case may be, all you need to do is just come to the second option which is generate new token classic for general use so i have clicked that the next thing now is to enter the name of your token i will call my token token practice now when you come after putting in the name of your token you come to the expiration uh, for the purpose of this video i will be choosing an expiration of seven days however you can choose to pick between seven days to no expiration. So if you will be creating your first token for your ALS task, I would employ you to create no expiration. However, if you will be clicking, if you'll be creating a token for other jobs, you can leave, you can set a, a custom validity for your project. Uh, if the project is supposed to take a period of six months to completion, you can choose a custom token to only span across for six months and if it's a shorter project like 7 to 30 days you can choose the 7 to 30 days option so for the sake of this because i will not need the token after seven days i can choose seven days now the next important thing you need to do if you are, are trying to complete your ALS tax you need to select repo here if the repo here is not selected there is no amount of effort you attempt to use to push this code to push your codes from your sandbox it will not get pushed now the other options are available for others who use their github account to perform other jobs and projects however for the sake of this tutorial i will be using only the repo 
The next thing you do now is to generate your token. Excellent. The token has been generated. Now take note, the instruction from GitHub says you need to make sure to copy your personal assets token now as you won't be able to see it again. So I have to click the button in front here. Uh, once I click it, it shows copied. Then all you need to do now is go to your notepad. Uh, after, on your notepad, just paste in the token and then you can write GitHub token in front of it to let you know that this token is for your GitHub. So that's just the basic way on how to create your token for your ALX project. Uh, that will be all now, guys. Uh, in subsequent tutorial, I will create other videos for us. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you've not done so. Bye for now.